Hey, good morning and God bless you. God bless you, saints of God. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe because I believe that this word is going to be for the body of Christ. I do believe that it is an urgent message to the body of Christ. I really believe that it is an alarming and alert message to shepherds and ministers of the gospel. And as I was spending time with the Lord today, and which is why I had to pull over my car right now just to do this word, you know, because I just felt like a prompting upon my heart, like, like the Lord in this hour is grieved, brothers and sisters, hear me. The spirit of the Lord is grieved with those that call themselves shepherds and ministers of the gospel that are upon the land. And I asked the Holy Spirit, I said, what is it? What is it that you're grieved about? He says, because there are people that are being saved into division. I said, what do you mean, Lord? He says, there are many people that are calling, calling unto me. They're being saved. They're coming to the saving knowledge of Jesus to him, but they're being saved into division. And he began to show me just different, um, just mindset and belief systems and flows of ministry that are creating strife and discord and uh, and just uh, dissension against one another. And he said, and, but he also told me this. He said, for the preachers that are mocking and scoffing those that are warning people of Jesus is coming. He says to those preachers, you better leave them alone. Who are you to stop my watchmen? Who are you to stop those that I placed my word in their mouth that I told them to warn the people? I told them to, to, to sound the alarm. I told them to put a burden on their heart and put a burden in their soul to warn my people that I'm soon coming. I felt the strongest can be brothers and sisters. So please hear my heart and show me some grace. And I love you. I'm not mad at nobody, but, the, but it's burning on me. It's, it's on me now. I'm telling you in Jesus name. I'm not just doing a video to do a video. The Lord is saying to many of you that have been mocking and scoffing and telling those that have been warning people that Jesus is coming, leave them alone. Leave them be. And let them preach Christ crucified and let them warn the people that Jesus Christ is soon coming. Man, and what's so crazy is this, is because the more I began to think about what the Lord was prompting upon my heart so strong, because I said, Lord, you want me to talk about this? <laughs> I said, Lord, I said, Lord, <laughs> I thought you were going to give me an edifying word today, but it, it, I felt urgency, y'all, is what I'm saying. Because people are coming into the family of God, but they're being saved into division. They're being saved into animosity and strife and bitterness and, 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 and ministers are angry against one another and, the, and there's discord and there's, and there's division in the body. The arm and the eye is not separate from the body. The feet is not separate from the body. The body is the body and every part is vital, but, but what holds that body and who is the body is Christ. We can't say that we belong to the body, but then yet have discord and, and have dis and, 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 and have disagreements and have our own ideologies outside of Christ trying to fit a narrative to make it gospel. Ah, oh, brothers and sisters, please hear my heart, man. This is a warning to those that have been adding to the scriptures. This is a warning to those that have been removing from the scriptures. I pray in the name of Jesus that you return back to first love from which you have fallen in the name of Jesus. Unless your candlestick be removed, your lampstand from you. Read Revelation 2, y'all. And the Bible says in Galatians 1, if we are an angel, angel, come preaching another gospel. That there is no gospel, no other gospel. There's only one. So brothers and sisters, leave 
the people that are sounding the alarm of Jesus Christ is coming, please leave those watchmen alone. I understand their burden is not yours. I understand that I understand that they have a different flow. I understand they're not out here doing what it is you're doing, but they don't have to. That's not their burden. That's not their conviction. Their conviction is to warn the people of God, is to warn the world, is to warn and wake up sinners to become saints, to bring them and lead them in hopes to the evangelists, the pastors, the shepherds, to, to make disciples of them. But that's what I'm talking about, brothers and sisters. People are being saved, but they're being made but what type of disciple are they becoming? What type of disciple are they becoming? Whose disciple? Jesus' disciple or your disciple? Are they the disciple of Christ? Or are they, or are they a disciple of your doctrine? Are they a disciple of Christ crucified? Or are they a disciple to your ideology? Are they a disciple to Christ crucified? Or are they the disciple of your methods and your, your, your doctrine of what it is that you say your flow is in? It's not about your flow, sir. It's not about your flow, ma'am. This has nothing to do with you. You are to reckon yourself dead to sin, yes, but you are to also be dead to self. In your own agenda, in your own narrative, in your and your own ways of doing things. This is not your kingdom. This kingdom belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. And he's coming back. And he is coming back soon. And the church is not ready. The church is asleep. And the church does need to be waken, uh, woken. Awakened. Out of its slumber. So, I end by saying this. <sighs> oh, man, what a word. Good morning. Hallelujah. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Glory be to Jesus. But, I, but the Lord knows I'll say and I'll do what it is he places upon my heart. And I told the Lord when he called me, if you call me, what you tell me to say, I'll say. Even if no one, if, even if no one else wants to say it, I'll say it. You want me to confront it? I'll confront it. You want me to tell it? I'll tell it. You want me to expose it? I'll, I'll expose it. I'll do it, y'all. Because I'm not here for you. I'm not here to make you happy. I'm not here to serve you. I'm here to lay down my life for Christ. For the kingdom. And for the, and for the souls of his people. To bring them into the family. To, to not be out there being destroyed by the wolves in sheep's clothing that is deceiving and robbing people of their sonship <coughs> of what Christ at Calvary and his stripped back had paid to bring us into I know man uh, uh, I love you all in Jesus name Leave the watchmen alone. They ain't hurt. They ain't harming nobody. Leave them alone. I'm not saying I'm one of those. I'm not. I'm an evangelist with with a pastoral heart that does flow in the prophetic. And I know when God begins to show me things. And I know what I'm seeing upon the land. And people are coming into into Christianity into a diverse a division in the body of Christ where there's so many different ways so many different flows you got you got the deliverance people against the you know the scholars and the apologetic and the calvinist and and the sensationalists and uh, you know, whatever it is, you know, and, and again, like I said, you know, hey, I love them all. If it's in the word, if it's the glorified Christ, praise God, let's do it. Let's do it. But we cannot be fighting and feuding amongst one another. Unite. <laughs>